Hey guys, uh, just a quick intro here. Uh, for this episode, we're doing two reviews. We're going to review Fury 7 and Avengers Age, Age of Ultron because we totally forgot to put up the uh, Fury 7 one. So uh, enjoy the double feature. Um, we'll do uh, Fury 7 first and then we'll do Age of Ultron. Thanks, guys. Don't forget to subscribe. Hi everybody, uh, welcome to Reviewing with Cody and Tommy. And uh, this is a show where we uh, watch a movie and we uh, give our little opinions on it. So I hope you enjoy. Uh, this week we are taking a look back at Furious 7. Seventh installment in the Fast and Furious franchise. That is also uh, the last to happen canologically, I guess you would call it. So uh, yeah, so let's start at the beginning, shall we? Arca. So, uh, when we, the first thing we see is, uh, the first thing we see, okay, so the first thing we see is, uh, Jason Statham, who was in the mid credit scene in the last Fast and Furious movie. We see him in a hospital talking to someone, and we look over, and it's his brother, Owen Shaw, played by the badass Luke Evans. And, uh, then, uh, then... We, we see some hospital uh, people cowering in fear and he tells them to take good care of his brother or else they'll die. So he walks out and there's just a bunch of de a bunch of dead people. He messed that place up. So then uh, then he goes outside and then we uh, we see Dom and Letty driving down a road and then uh, the title shows up which is Fury 7 and 7 is spelled out like S-E-V-E-N for some reason. And uh, we, we see what they're heading towards and they're heading towards Race Wars which is a uh, callback to the first one. Dom has a uh, Dom has Letty race, and uh, she's drag racing against a guy, and uh, he tells her that to keep keep going slow because he's going to break his engine or whatever. I, I know so much about cars, guys. I'm, like, the best car guy. So, uh, yeah, he says the engine's going to break, and she's like, uh, don't you know I'm ride or die? And, uh, and then Dom is like, how about you just ride before you die? Because you already died. But uh, no, he just says, how about you just ride? So that, that's an, a quote from there. So she just rides and ends up winning the race. And then uh, Edgy Azalea comes out to uh, congratulate her and stuff. Yeah. And then uh, and then she punches uh, Hector, which you might, who you might recognize from uh, the first Fast and the Furious movie again. This is all callbacks to the first and the original because uh, Letty doesn't remember who she is. So he's having her jogger memory by going to Race Wars. Which is a super appropriate name. Yeah, so, and then we uh, get to uh, The Rock and Elena. Elena, of course, was Dom's girlfriend when he thought Letty was dead, but not anymore. But, uh, so, and she's got a new haircut. It's a really good looking haircut. I like it. Uh, and so, so, uh, uh, The Rock walks her out to her car. Says she's gonna give her the recommendation for some other agency that she wanted. But, uh, the best part is he walks back in and Jason Statham is just hacking his computer right there. And, uh, then he's, then he, uh, The Rock wants to know what's going on. And so he, Jason Statham is finding all the names of the people who were responsible for hurting his brother. Cause again, not dead, which is actually great news. But, uh, yeah. So, and then at one point The Rock says, dance with the devil brother. I, I wrote that down in my notes. I don't know why. <laughs> then uh, they have a big fight scene and everybody, and then uh, they do this nice camera trick where instead of just watching a person fall down, they follow the person and the room rotates, which is really cool. It's a nice one. Then, uh, then uh, his, the guy's name is uh, or Shaw. Big Brother Shaw uh, blows up the building and the rock and breaks the rock's arm. I guess. And then we uh, cut to Paul Walker, who is uh, riding, uh, who's driving a minivan, but doing it uh, Fast and Furious style. And then uh, it, it just shows him, he doesn't really like uh, not going fast, but they go to, they show the house with Dom and Mia, and I think Letty has to, or no, Letty's gone. Letty's gone, she has to go find herself for some reason. But, uh, so the, uh, so Paul Walker is, uh, getting his kid ready to go to daycare and uh, the kid throws the car out of the door and Paul Walker's like, cars don't fly. And the kid's like, cars don't fly. Then uh, Mia, I think it reveals to Dom then that she's pregnant and she's about to tell, uh, and she's about to tell Paul Walker and right when that happens, the house explodes, the house that we've come to love since the first F Fast and Furious and they, uh, the Fast and the Furious, and then that they finally got back to at the end of 
six blows up and uh then uh so then dom or uh, vin diesel goes to visit the rock in the hospital and uh he learns that the guy's name is deckert shaw first name deckert last name shaw not uh detective deckert but uh anyways and then the rock says i'm gonna put a hurt so bad he wished his mama closed her legs which uh that's uh that's pretty cool and uh one of the things they recovered was that cross that you just keep seeing throughout since like Fast and Furious since the fourth one. I mean, it was it probably showed up before then, but it was a big deal in the last four movies. And then, uh, then they have uh, Han dies, and then they have the funeral, and have a. Uh... Oh no! Wait, that's where he gets the uh, cross from. Is he goes to Tokyo because Han dies, and uh, he says. So then, after he visits the Rock in the hospital, he goes to Tokyo to meet the Tokyo Drift Kid because Han died and he wanted to go get him to bury him back home in LA for some reason. But uh, he, the the Tokyo Drift Kid hands him that cross that uh, that was his, I think, oh yeah, uh, the other, the baby Shaw, the little Shaw, he, uh, he got it from Letty. So uh, now it's back to, with Dom. And then they, uh, they go have the funeral for Han in LA and Deckard shows up and Vin Diesel sees him and they he chases him and then all of a sudden they get into a tunnel and have a head-on collision and he uh gets away and then Kurt Russell shows up finally Kurt Russell and uh then they uh, they take him to he's part of the CIA and he takes him to a secret CIA base and they have uh he has a beer and he's like do you want one and Don's like no I'm a Corona man so he pulls out a big old bucket of Corona and gives him a Corona which I thought was pretty funny so the uh, their whole mission is to or he wants to get Shaw but instead they're gonna help Kurt Russell get something called the God's Eye which can track anybody anywhere and that's how they're gonna find Shaw. So he agrees to help him, and uh, yeah. And then uh, he's like, "But uh, I'm only going to use my family as the team. And uh, if you don't know what fa his family is by now, you shouldn't be watching this series." But uh, so so then they they try and come up with a plan, and uh, they let Tyrese come up with the plan. And uh, at one point, he uh, Paul Walker mentions no knees Denise, which I I, I think that's a funny nickname. But uh, yeah, so Tyrese comes with the up with the plan that they uh, that they just parachute cars into a road and capture the girl. Um, so yeah, the, then that's the big stunt you that you saw in the trailers was the uh, the cars parachuting in. Paul Walker's just before everything goes, he says to Dom, "Dom, cars don't fly." It is a callback. But uh, so yeah, Tyrese is scared. And uh, so they all start falling out and the uh, parachute, I think, they, no, they have to blow the parachute manually, but uh, Tyree stays in there. And so Tej or Ludacris, yeah, Ludacris, uh, parachutes him out. And uh, so he's falling and falling and he's just trying to break in midair, thinking that'll stop. Or Ty Tyrese breaks in midair, thinking that'll stop. But uh, yeah, so they... Uh, they get to, uh, so they get everybody in position except for uh, Tyrese. And uh, they're able to get everybody out. Or they're, they're able to, they're trying to find a, a hacker named Ramsey, which is basically the female ludicrous. And uh, so they're trying to break her out and they got her out and onto Dom's car, but not before Paul Walker gets locked into the, to this giant RV thing and has to run across everything. And then, uh, yeah, so she, so the, the Ramsey chick is on the hood of the car. So they're, they're driving downhill and at one point Dom just does a little thing with a shifter, hits her and she comes back into the car through like the sunroof or whatever. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, so that happens. And then Roman appears along with Deckard just in time to save everybody. And then, uh, Deckard, uh, lines up as a sniper and Dom gets cornered by the, the guys who are taking the girl prisoner. And uh, he j just drives off a cliff because he knows it'll be safe. And they uh, save her. And uh, then there's... Uh... So next th they go to Abu Dhabi because they need a memory chip that contains the program for the God's Eye. And th the memory chip is uh, is used for a smart car thing. It's the only one big enough. So they have to break into the super rich oil sheik's place and take out the uh, memory card. So yeah, uh, 
they break in. They come up with a plan where it's uh, Dom and Paul Walker have to steal the memory drive. Uh, Letty has to figure out a way to open up the storage place. And then uh, Ludacris and Tyrese Gibson uh, are running interference. And so L Letty opens the door successfully and Vin Diesel and Paul Walker get, in, get into the car room. And then Ronda Rousey, UFC fighter, shows up and uh, they, Letty and her start to fight. And somehow Letty's able to keep up with her. Because magic. But uh, that happens and uh, the place goes on lockdown. So they have to drive a car between not one but two buildings. They they drive into one building. They, they make it into what appears to be like a construction site. And then they go to another building which has the Terracotta Warriors. And uh, they, they get, just in the nick of time, they get the, uh, the memory thing. So they, they get the God's Eye and they try to find Shaw. And he's at some weird storage facility. That's automated. It's an automated refinery or something. But he's uh, he's become friends with the people who uh, wanted to kidnap Ramsey. And so they uh, they end up stealing the God's Eye from them for somehow. Oh, because they were using it in a computer, in a in a tough book tablet. And uh, but there's a big fight scene, and Kurt Russell puts on some. Or the lights get turned off, and Kurt Russell puts on some sunglasses. They're really night vision goggles, and he just starts to shoot people and take out bad guys it's pretty much the best and then they have to go back to la to, for a final standoff and uh the bad guys are in a helicopter and uh it's uh toretto versus jason statham and then you know everyone else is trying to find ramsey uh, the female ludicrous and so they uh they do a, a little uh, thing where they hand off her to multiple cars and then eventually they figure it out because they got that weird program and they're in this giant armored they're in a giant armored helicopter that also has a drone attached to it so it's, it's not overkill then uh so as the two sides are fighting uh hall walkers trying to find a way to stop stop them from uh using the god's eye or no he's, he's trying to boost the signal so they can hack it so ramsey can hack it and she gets it and then she leaves a little smile emoticon right in the corner that's pretty hard to see but uh yeah so they they fight and then uh he beats the crap out of uh deckard but you know, they're still standing, and uh, the other guys shoot a missile at Dom because they're just so pissed. But uh, it misses both of them and breaks the uh, the parking structure they're fighting on. Yeah, and then uh, and then uh, Dom just says, the street always wins. And uh, yeah, so the, the parking structure collapsed. Somehow Dom survives, and uh, Letty's like, I remember that we got married, and their wedding ring was that cross, which is why it stuck with us, stuck with the viewers through four movies, even though it's like, it's just a cheap piece of plastic. And uh, so if you go back and watch them now, and everyone just keeps saying that, you're like, I get why he's keeping that. And then, uh, yeah, so Shaw, you see Shaw is still alive, but he's in a black sight prison type thing. And then, of course, at the very end, the very end they do a really touching fitting tribute for paul walker who did pass while filming this movie and it's it's great it's uh every it's just everything about it is right it's i mean they show some images from the series but it's really just vin diesel sort of working out his emotions towards the beginning and then they drive together they say something about like our paths will be different but in the end it'll be the same and you just see the two cars driving dom goes straight and paul walker just veers off to the left a little bit which i think is really nice it's really great. And so, yeah, that was fast. That was Furious 7. It, uh, it's uh, one of my favorite in the series. I don't know if it's better than 5 or not. 5 or 6. I think it's tied with 6 right now for me. I gotta watch it a few more times before I make up my mind. But, uh, is there anything really awesome you liked about this? Yeah, the, the, the music was great. The, um, of course, they always use popular music and it's integrated well. But, uh, yeah, it's a, it's a great series because it knows exactly where to go and where not to go and what the fans want and expect and uh i hope it uh i hope they make a few more you know that should be fun yeah it's it's a real great series it's one of those i mean it's not like star wars where everyone puts it in it's more like star trek i would say where they had some stinkers but really overall most of the movies are enjoyable yeah too fast too furious stinker it's, it's the star trek motionless picture of the series yeah it's uh it's not great but uh yeah so thanks for watching um please go see this movie not that it needs any more of your money but uh it's great hey everybody welcome to reviewing i'm cody and i'm tommy 
and this week we saw Avengers Age of Ultron. Yeah, with the robots. Yeah. So this movie opens up just straight into a fight scene. The Iron Man and uh, the Hulk is there, and the Hulk is there. Um, oh no, no, this is the Hawkeye. So, uh, and Black Widow is there, and the Hydra is there. Yeah, and uh, yeah, and this uh, this particular fight scene uh, ties into where Agents of Shield left off from. If you watch the TV show, they uh, they found out where this location was, so it showed the Avengers basically going and. Uh, Trying to get back uh, the Loki staff from the first Avengers movie. So it all comes back in one giant circle. And uh, this is when we get introduced to the, the first two mutants in uh, the Avengers movie. Uh, the first one is Quicksilver and then is Twin Siesta, Scarlet Witch. Yeah, he can run really fast like in the X-Men movies like that guy. And then, uh, or, or, uh, or that red guy from uh, the Batman movie that I watched when I was a kid. Um, and then the Scarlet Red, she, she has the red power too, but that control the mind. Yeah. So, they get into this big thing and, uh, or, it's not really a big thing, it's more of a fight. And they, uh, they get into the base and find Baron Von Strucker, which, uh, from the comics is a pretty big Hydra guy. You're pretty evil, and uh, I think he uh, he's missing an arm in the uh, in the comics. But uh, anyways, then we get to we get to uh, where uh, Iron Man finds the scepter, and Scarlet Witch uh, tricks him with his head, or with her head. Or no, wait, no, she she tricks his head into creating Ultron or whatever, and uh, and he sees all the Avengers dead. And uh, that's where Cap's broken shield comes in. So it never actually really happens. Not yet. But uh, so they, they get the staff and they go back to uh, the Avengers Tower. Which is the Stark Tower from the uh, last Avengers movie. Which, uh, yeah, and then uh, we, see, we see these uh, drones, these Iron Man drones also fly in. And then, uh, yeah, so they... they uh, Stark examines the staff and uh, finds that it's like an AI program or that can make a human mind or something because actually the mind gem in Infinity Stone uh, so somehow that translates but anyway so they make a uh, a special uh, program known as Ultron who's gonna be a AI uh, robot around the world that could help save the world but uh, he goes rogue and uh, he's, play he's played by James Spader, who's really good in this role. And he, uh, he ends up killing Jarvis and escaping. And then, uh, yeah, and then he crashes the party. Uh, or uh, the Avengers are having a party after their recent victory of finding the Loki staff. And uh, then uh, at the end, when everyone's gone home, the Ultron breaks out and tries to kill the Avengers because he thinks the only way to world peace is to kill everyone. And... and uh, he has to kill the Avengers first because they're the only thing that would stop him, apparently. So yeah, and then uh, then Ultron escapes. He makes a body and he tries to go to Wakanda uh, to get vibranium, which is what Cap Captain America's shield is made out of. And uh, yeah, so uh, the Avengers find he goes to Wakanda. He meets this, uh, this guy called Ulysses Claw, who, who is uh, the golem guy from the Lord of the Rings movies. And... Uh, he cuts his arm off and steals all the vibranium. Well, not before the Scarlet Witch uh, poisons everyone's mind except for Hawkeye. Because uh, that happened last time. And she even gets to the Hulk and he starts to rampage around the city. And then Iron Man uh, has to get the uh, Hulkbuster suit, also known as Veronica. And they fight throughout the city of Wakanda. And, uh, and they pretty much tear it up. And the fight scene is incredible. It's uh, one of the best fight scenes. In the movie I've seen in a while. Yeah, so he, he fights them and somehow he gets them calmed down. So yeah, then, then they go back and they, uh, like everyone hates the Avengers. So they, uh, they go to some random place and it was, uh, it turns out to be Hawkeye's house. And he has a family. He has a wife and kid. A uh, kid, yeah. And he... So every, everyone's all surprised and stuff, and they have a little time to cool down and talk about stuff. And, and then Nick Fury shows up and uh, says, you gotta go help everybody. And, uh, and then so Iron Man goes to the uh, 
to the internet which uh, to find who or uh, actually what happens before that is they find out that Ultron's trying to get a bunch of nuke codes but he can't because someone is blocking him so then Tony Stark goes to the internet or someplace that's a giant internet hub for some reason and tries to find out who's doing that and then the others go to South Korea to find some doctor that was earlier in the movie and she uh, she's actually making a uh, a new body for Ultron for some reason and uh, so yeah they have there's another big fight in uh, South Korea and they uh, they fight Ultron and a bunch of Ultron bots and they uh, steal whatever he was making and it's like in a coffin thing and then they uh, take it back to Stark Labs and uh, then then uh, Tony and uh, the and Dr. Bruce Banner begin to make another Ultron only this time it's made from Jarvis his AI and uh, and uh, Thor puts his hammer on it Oh yeah, Thor's in this movie too, by the way, guys. Uh, Thor puts his hammer on it and makes it a lightning thing, and they create the Vision. Which, if you're not familiar with the Vision, um, then you're just a normal person. So yeah, they uh, they create the Vision, and he's like, "Oh, I'm gonna help you guys." I'm like Ultron, who's a dick. So yeah, so then they uh, then Ultron brings his final plan into action. He he made a body of vibranium now and uh so he's pretty indestructible and so his his final plan is to uh take the uh city where the uh where the avengers go to at the beginning of the movie and turn that into a giant meteor and destroy the earth with vibranium and stuff so uh they so he he has a pretty good plan they realized he can't uh they can't really disable it without uh, causing too much damage so they they get all the the people off the uh, giant meteor thing onto a helicarrier which agent colson built um yeah little tidbit for you there so yeah they have this giant fight scene and there's a whole bunch of people fighting and the hulk is there too and uh, the skylar witch and quicksilver are all fighting too and then uh eventually they, uh, they get to uh, they start fighting and then they uh then they melt the the Vision and Tony Stark uh, melt the or, uh, Ultron's face off, and they uh, they make him they melt his face off, and they make him uh, they make him uh, run away, and it goes into uh, one of the Quinjets, and uh, as Hawkeye's trying to leave, he uh, has to save this kid, so Ultron tries to kill Hawkeye, and then uh, and then uh, Quicksilver sees it and puts a car in front of him and saves him, but uh, Quicksilver dies. So. He's a dead character now. Yeah, so he dies, and then, uh, and then, uh, they start, Ultron starts shooting at the Hulk, and the Hulk jumps into the, uh, Quinjet and throws him out. And so the Scarlet Witch kills him, and, yeah, so the Scarlet Witch kills him, kills Ultron, and they, uh, they, uh, save the day by returning the land back to Earth. But, uh, so then only one Ultron bot survives, because Ultron can jump into all of his robot pals but it's only one robot that ultron survives and then it's him and vision finds him and kills him and uh, ultron's like oh why are you helping these guys they're just gonna kill themselves and ultron's like oh that's the beauty of it people are awesome i like them so yeah he uh they blow up or he he dies so ultron is dead quote unquote but uh if you read the comics he's never actually dead he eventually comes back. But yeah. So then uh, then everything ends on sort of a good note. Uh, Thor has to go back to figure out. Because uh, the, the Mind Stone that's in uh, Jarvis's head is the uh, fourth Infinity Stone that they found in the last... What, what was... Uh, uh, 2011? <laughs> I'm doing math here on when the movies came out. So, well, let's say 2012. So 2012. So it's the, it's the fourth Infinity Stone found in the last three years. So uh, there's four. So there, that means there's only uh, so two left, and uh, to uh, to find until someone has the ultimate power in the universe. Yeah. So yeah, Thor goes back. Uh, Iron Man retires for some reason again, just like he did at the end of three. When he threw his arc reactor into the ocean. Which, how did they, did they just fill his chest up with like sausage or something? Because that'd be funny. But anyways, yeah. Um, so Iron Man retires. Thor's gone away. Uh, and then the Hulk ran away after the fight because he doesn't want to hurt people. So then uh, 
Black Widow and Cap are running the Avengers out of uh, upstate New York away from people. And so uh, basically they get a new band of Avengers together. It's the Vision, Falcon, Vision, Falcon, Scarlet Witch, oh, and Rhodey. So it's a, yeah, Scarlet Witch, Falcon, the Vision, the Vision and War Machine. So, uh, yeah. So that's the uh, new Avengers for what I would assume is Captain America Civil War. And uh, yeah, so and then right before the credits hit, he goes, Avengers! And then uh, he doesn't say assemble. Because they don't assemble to the next movie. But yeah, so that's that's all of them. And I, presu I presume Hawkeye is part of that team too. But whatever. Um, so yeah, and then uh, the there's a mid credit scene where Thanos comes in again. Such as the Avengers way. And he, uh, he opens a vault with the Infinity Gauntlet. He puts it on and says, Fine, I'll do it myself. Wah, wah, wah. So yeah, so that's the Avengers. Uh, what did you think of it, Tommy? I thought it was great, but I never thought uh, that there was a lot of action. You know, not much downtime. And uh, yeah, all the characters, but I don't know. I mean, there was like too many characters. Yeah, there was just a lot of uh, other characters introduced that uh, don't really know what for. But, you know... It is an Avengers movie, so the bigger the team, the funner it is. So yeah, uh, go see the Avengers and uh, tell us what you think. Okay, uh, have a good day. Thanks.